What's up guys, JDog706 here, showing you how to get the best performance for your ATI video cards, whether it's Mobility Radeon, Radeon HD, or the X series, this will correspond to you. Now if you feel like you have been, got a decrease in performance after upgrading to the latest ATI drivers, get them from your manufacturer, this usually happens with laptop owners, but you know, I got my new laptop and I have updated to the latest, the latest video drivers, which you should do as well and do that and I saw a better performance and steady, steady FPS so you open up your AMD Vision Engine or Catalyst Control Center or whatever you're using you're gonna go to gaming right here 3D application settings okay now make sure this is checked and make sure this is in box okay make sure this is checked you can either disable Catalyst AI I have mine advanced but depending on what games you're running, you'll see different performance out of. So I have um, my Catalyst AI Advanced. Mid map detail level, you can keep this at performance or high performance. I tend to keep mine at quality. But you turn it all the way down and make sure your vertical refresh is always off. Now vertical refresh is basically V-Sync, which disables screen tearing. But it also lag. It make it like kills your FPS in games so make sure you disable that completely just cut that all the way off and performance right here CPU power on battery now I don't if you game on your battery make sure you cut this all the way up like right here but it will kill your battery life it'll make it drain like so much faster but plugged in make sure your processor speeds are always up I have an AMD um, Athlon 2P360 dual court 2.3 gigahertz so that that's good for me in the games I play and I just play MMOs and stuff like that so once you do that make sure when you're in your power settings your computer is on high performance uh, power saver it might work but you you get the best performance out of high performance just trust me on that one